All right, guys. Um, so when you first walk into my apartment, um, that's the front door there. I have my little kind of entryway area um, with my console table, my lamp, uh, rug. This is definitely not finished yet um, for my apartment. Kind of just threw a whole bunch of stuff here. Um, at the moment, still figuring out what I want to do with this area. But the first plant that you can see is this parlor palm. So this guy, I've had most of my plants um, just about a year is when I started getting really a lot more into house plants. So this one I got last summer, I want to say probably almost a year ago, exactly a year ago. And this one is from plantsarena.com and it's a parlor palm. And it's probably, gosh, tripled in size since I got it. This far away from the window. I tried to put a grow um, light bulb in that lamp, but the grow bulbs I have are really wide, so they don't fit. Uh, and hi, Tamara. Hey, baby girl. Um, so yes, this is the, the first plant on the tour. But as you can see, this is the main part of my apartment. Um, and pretty much all my plants are in here. But if we go over here to the bathroom, I do have a couple plants here. So I have my variegated Maranta plant here, um, which is doing pretty well. Um, I got this guy off of Facebook Marketplace last summer. Um, and I just love all the like the, the little variegated leaves. It's so pretty. Um, it really enjoys life in the bathroom. And then I have my snake plant here. So this is actually my oldest plant in my collection. Um, I got this guy free. I had just moved into my first apartment in Chicago and well, of course the vacuum is following me in here. I had just moved into my first apartment in Chicago and it was um, sitting outside. Somebody had moved and left two of these snake plants and an aloe plant and I came back from work and they were still there so I assumed that they were free so I took one and she's really just um, been doing great. Watch out, watch out, Gizmo. <laughs> Alright, so here when you first walk in is my big monstera. I had um, been wanting a big floor plant for a while now, and I got this one from a local plant shop um, that I talked about actually in my most recent video, and I will make sure I link the info down below. I'll put it on the screen, all that. Um, all three of my floor plants, so the Monstera, the Bird of Paradise, and the Ficus Audrey, those are all from the same local plant shop, um, and I, I love them. They're doing really well. They're thriving. Um, I was really excited because it seemed to me like this guy hadn't been growing, and then I see that there is a new little, a new little leaf coming out there. So that's that guy in um, his pot and stand. And then we'll kind of swing over here. So this is a kind of layout of my living area. And um, my view is a sort of southwest. The building is tilted a little bit. So it's definitely true west, but then a little bit of south. So I do get a lot of light. It doesn't look that bright in here now because it's a really pretty cloudy day. Um, but I was really excited. Um, if you saw my first apartment tour of where I was living in my last place, and the light here versus there. But anyway, so this um, bookshelf is a little bit, it's a little bit darker of an area um, just because of the way the wall is there. It doesn't get any direct sun. Um, but I have my red Maranta up here and it's absolutely thriving. Um, this guy has um, bloomed for me, gosh, two, three, four times in the past few months. Um, Obviously, it has some crispy tips and some of the old leaves here. It's not perfect, um, but this guy's in, gone insane. It's probably quadrupled in size since I got it, and I just love it. I have my um, philodendron cordatum or just green heart leaf here. Um, just another, another one that really um, doesn't mind being in this kind of lower light corner. And I like how just how little this guy is, and it looks super cute in... Um, this pottery that I just got. And then down here I have my um, green Maranta, which again is just probably tripled or doubled in size since I got it. I mean, these original leaves were obviously really large and the newer ones aren't as big, but it's 
really thriving and just doing great. And I just love those. Um, I haven't had the best luck with prayer plants, but Marantas seem to like me and Calatheas tend to not. So swinging around over here, this is my uh, Monstera and Sonii. And this is probably top five plant for sure in my collection. Um, this has grown from, I think, three different cuttings that I got off of um, Facebook Marketplace. And as you can see, like it's a full blown plant now. Um, I decided to stake it up. I originally had it, I wanted it to be a trailing plant. And then I know if you put it on a moss pole or this is a choir pole, I think I got from Amazon, um, the leaves tend to get larger. And this guy's just always, always growing. Um, even through the winter, I always had some growth. Um, there's some little funky leaves, as you can see on here, from um, having some low humidity um, in the winter time. But otherwise, this guy is just literally going crazy. It's one of my favorites, for sure. And then down here, I have my Philod Philodendron Florida. Um, I got this guy at Sprout Home in, here in Chicago last summer. And it was just those um, these lower leaves down here. And since then, it's given me this big leaf. This one is the newest one. I have one that's just popped over there and then a couple of those taller ones there as well. It's funny because the tag actually says um, Florida Beauty, but this is just a regular Florida. A Florida Beauty is, um, I believe, has the yellow variegation, which I would love if this was a Florida Beauty, but this is just a regular Florida. And I just really like the shape of those leaves. Um, it's just really unique in my collection. And I'm excited for that um, that little new leaf to start popping. All right, over here I have my Ficus Audrey. So this is my newest acquisition. I just got her exactly a week ago um, and she has already lost some of the bottom leaves. Um, I added my grow light here. Um, just to give her some extra love. And I mean, this is a beautiful plant. I'm obsessed. I love the veining on the leaves. They're so velvety and they're just amazing. Um, and we'll see, I repotted her when I got her last week into this 13 inch pot from Home Depot. So she's dealing with a lot right now. She got repotted, she's in a new, a new space. So we'll see what happens. And then back here, I have my Haworthia, and um, I don't know the name of the other little succulent in front there. I just got that from Home Depot a few weeks ago and recently repotted it in with the rest of my Haworthias. I am not a good succulent parent. I will say this is probably one of the only succulents that I've managed to keep alive. Um, the three Haworthia in the back, so that guy, that one in the middle, and that one there, I've had since last summer. And again, um, they've all at least doubled in size. As you can see, that's basically two plants now instead of one. And then I hope I can keep this little um, succulent in front looking cute, but I love this arrangement. I have it kind of sitting back here behind the TV. So even though I don't necessarily get to enjoy it, it gets a lot of light there, so doing really well. All right. Swing around here. Hello again, Tamara. And this is the overview kind of of the kitchen. I have a lot of plants in here. Uh, I'm still trying to decide exactly what I'm gonna do. I think I wanna downsize some of my collection, but we'll see. So right over here behind the Monstera, I have a really janky grow light set up happening, literally hanging off a hook. Um, but these are kind of my more rare plants, some of them. So I really wanted to make sure they got um, a lot of light because even though this does get a lot of west light in the evening or the late afternoon, um, it is a little bit farther away from the windows, way over there. And I really just wanted to make sure that um, these guys got enough light. So this is my Alocasia Regal Shield. And I mean, this is nuts. Like these leaves are crazy. So this plant is originally from, I think I got it from Gabriella plants last summer. And the leaves were all like smaller than this size here. And now you can see a year later that they are like larger than my hand. There's a new one coming up right here. 
And this guy, I know sometimes the alocasia tend to go dormant over the winter, but this guy like, absolutely loved the grow light. So it was shooting out all these big leaves all winter long. Um, obviously it drops, tends to drop the lower leaves, the smaller ones, but um, I've just had nothing but luck with this plant and it's one of my absolute favorites. And then here is my Anthurium. I think it's a crystallinum. Um, I bought, I got this off of someone on Facebook Marketplace. Um, I think it was the Chicago Rare Buy Sell Trade Group. Um, and I've been wanting, this is probably my like number one wish list plant for a long time. I've been wanting this guy. Um, and it originally came with me to me with three leaves. One of them did did die, but then I finally after months and months so i got this in january and it's may now i noticed that um earlier in the month i had a little a little node a little bump on the node and now i have a new baby leaf which i'm super excited by um this one in the ziploc bag i should have probably taken it off for this video but this is my philodendron gloriosum i will make sure i insert some footage um, without the bag so you can see and it's absolutely beautiful. I love this plant. Again, um, I am not super, I don't want to have a ton of rare plants because they stress me out, but this one I absolutely adore. I just think the, the leaves are so beautiful. It does need a lot of humidity, so that's why it lives in the bag, And it, but it finally has another a new leaf growing here. It's taken a really long time just to kind of shoot up and pop out but it is absolutely gorgeous um, and I love it. So second shelf down, I have my philodendron micans and I'm again obsessed with this plant. I searched long and hard for this one last summer. Um, they were really, really hard to find. It's not rare by any means, but it was so in such high demand that I had a hard time locating it. And I got this from a local plant shop in Chicago called The Plants Yard, and I love them. Um, I've been two or three times last summer, and it's so hard not to buy everything. And I just love this plant. It's it's beautiful. And then here at the bottom, I have my goldfish plant. I'm really hoping that it starts to get some flowers on it because um, I had it, I got it, this was actually my kind of gateway plant, my first plant that I got at Home Depot last summer. Uh, I just happened to, to be in there um, after moving to my last place and I saw it and my mom always had a goldfish plant in um, the kitchen when we were growing up and so it kind of was nostalgic for me and I grabbed it um, and this guy's gotten, it's at least doubled or tripled since last summer. But I really hope I get some goldfish on it this summer because I'm not seeing any yet. So here on the counter, I have my um, Anthurium Crystallinum Silver Blush. Let me just take the top off of this, um, this close here. This guy was my first rare plant that I ever purchased um, last fall. And I am, if there's anything that I am proud of in my collection, it is, has to be this plant here because I um, almost killed it. I had root rot and I stuck it in sphagnum moss. As you can see, that's what it still lives in. And it's managed to um, not only regrow the entire root system, but all has all these beautiful leaves. So it's almost at its former glory of what it looked like when I first got it. Um, but I am super, super proud of this guy. And then I have my wet stick in here with it. So this is a wet stick of a, a philodendron varicosum. And as you can see, it has some tiny little leaves that are um, growing out of here. Not too much for roots yet, but it is going. So we'll see. Um, it's kind of my little project. It was pretty cheap for a little bit of a wet stick and I just wanted a project to try. Here is my Neon Pothos. Yes, this is my Neon Pothos. I always want to say um, ne Neon Hartley Philodendron, but it's not a Philodendron, it's Pothos. Um, and this guy you just got as a single little baby, um, I think two or three inch cutting. 
or two or three inch little starter plant last year at um, Gethsemane, which is another local Chicago plant shop. Um, it's up north and it's amazing. If you have not been, they have um, great plants and also so many planters there for a great deal. So I just love this one because it just has um, this bright chartreuse green pop of color that when you come in, it really stands out among all my plants because it's such a bright color. It's beautiful. Over here I have my golden pothos and this guy's just gone nuts. I mean, obviously pothos are really fast growers anyway. Um, and this is a combination of two plants. So half of it is from Plants Arena when I ordered with that um, parlor palm that I showed you guys in the beginning of the video. I also got a pothos and then half of it is actually from Facebook Marketplace. I got um, a planter that was half golden pothos and half um, an enjoy. I got rid of the enjoy um, before I moved, but the pothos is um, in here. So this guy is, is crazy, it's so big, I love it. And then over here um, at the end of my counter is kind of my Hoya, my Hoya spot. So I have my string of hearts here, um, desperately needs untangling. I repotted it. Um, this is also from Gethsemane from last year and it's probably doubled in size or tripled in size. I've been saying that about everything, but they really have. And I just need to take the time to um, <laughs> detangle all, all of this because it looks a little, a little crazy. But um, this was one I never thought I would be interested in. And then I saw the plant. I was like, oh, that's really cool. So here it is. I have my Hoya Australis here. It has some crazy long tendrils. Um, I originally did have it on a on a trellis and then I took it off. Um, this is my Hoya Crinkle 8 and I'm definitely going to put a before um, photo of this plant because it's insane like how much this has grown. Um, it's really a testimony to the grow lights that I used in my last place because I just didn't have very much sun and I will make sure I link those down below as well because I just um, they made all my plants go crazy last year. This is my Hoya Crimson Queen. We love her. And then here is my Hoya um, Com Carnosa Compacta. So this is one of the only plant that I have in Lekka. Um, this little piece here is I actually ordered along with the Crinkle 8 from a local seller from Etsy. And then the other two, two pieces of this rope were actually one that I got off of somebody on Facebook Marketplace. Um, and then I chopped it in half because I knew I wanted, you know, two, like three strands. And I propped this one here. This was the end um, in soil. And it did grow a root system, but it just wasn't thriving. So what I decided is to combine it and then put it all in LECA. Um, I am by no means a LECA expert at all. Um, but given how healthy and how much these have grown, it seems to be doing okay. I haven't converted any other plants to Lucca, um, but I really like it. And then over here, you can see is my beautiful bird of paradise. So this is the other, um, one of the other floor plants that I got from that local plant shop that I spoke about with my Monstera. And this one is just lo loving life. There's a new leaf. It's just going crazy and this is just definitely proof of how um how well a plant can do even even if you don't have big windows in this apartment like i do because i got this plant and i had it directly under a grow light um, by my north facing window for the first month and it did really well obviously it's doing better now but um all of my plants except for the ficus have all survived in my old place, which was primarily all grow lights in my bedroom and then a north facing window and, and grow lights in my living room. Um, and you can see how healthy and well they are all doing. I mean, they've been in this apartment probably about a month, but prior to that, um, they all, were all living in a less than ideal situation when it came to light. All right, so I just have a few left. Um, this is my philodendron Brazil. 
Oh, I also have a um, basil plant over here, but just ignore that guy. Sorry, basil. Um, a philodendron Brazil. This guy came off of Facebook Marketplace last summer. Um, and since it's getting a lot more light now, um, a lot of this new growth, as you can see, is um, really, really light. But I think this plant's just beautiful. I love the var variegation on it. It's doing great. Over here, this is actually the only other plant that I bought um, that I didn't have in my old apartment, is this Begonia Maculata. Um, and it's my first Begonia. I'm obsessed with the silver spots on the leaf, but as you can see by the dry patches, she's suffering. Um, I don't have the best humidity in this apartment and hence why I have my humidifier right here. I've started running it. Um, yeah. So she's looking a little rough, but she has um, a whole bunch of, a bunch of new growth points. So hoping that she will kind of, kind of pull together, but she does have a lot of crispy tips. Um, but I think it's just a beautiful plant. And then I have my Scandapsis pictus um, exotica. And again, this is just a cutting from last summer. Uh, has a new growth there, but I just love this one. And then my Calathea macayona, the peacock plant. Again, looking a little rough, um, but this <laughs> is the only Calathea that I've managed to keep um, over a year. I mean, this is a new leaf here and that's a new leaf there, so it's doing okay. But it's the only um, Calathea so far that hasn't hated me because I've had and killed a bunch. And then lastly, I have my Cebu Blue here, and if there was a number one plant in my collection that I love, it's probably this one. Um, I got this from Plants Arena as well, and it just has gone bonkers with growth. Um, I love the like kind of blue silver sheen of the leaves, and I know that once this plant matures, it's not going to look the same, but I can't find any photos of what a um, mature Cebu Blue looks like but I just love it. I know I should probably chop and prop um, this runner here to fill out the top a little bit more, but I'm just in love with how it looks kind of cascading down the fridge. And it's just amazing. So that's pretty much it for my plant tour, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I love every single plant, and I think if I do end up getting rid of any, it will be definitely a tough call. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what it looks like in here, guys. Again, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys next week. Have a good one. Bye.